So I just got out of uh, like a while, uh, several hours ago, um, from seeing um, Jurassic World Dominion, and I'm going to be honest. Cause well, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, that's all I can be. Um, like, well, um, first off, say uh, the cast and crew who were like you know majority of like say the mainstays of. This the current like, Jurassic World film franchise, and the crew from Jurassic Park returned in Ellie Sadler, Dr. Alan Grant, and Dr. Ian Malcolm. And yeah, I think that's actually honestly pretty cool, honestly. And yeah, every they also they all get really get to have the interactions with each other. What was the story of the film? Well, like, well, Biosyn, or I'm gonna be, like, say, well, I'm gonna, this, if you have not seen the film, I'm gonna give it, like, a little bit of details. So, yeah. I actually think the film's really entertaining. I enjoyed it. it, it I thought it was pretty cool. So, if you have not, I'll give you, like, say, a couple, one more minute. And I'll go into spoilers because that is kind of necessary for me to explain for a second about the plot. Um, okay, so the plot of the story is they like, say dinosaurs have been ruling the world for a little bit, and everyone's trying to just you know get along and all that, and. Unfortunately, a bit of crop, like you know, basically a plague of locusts is going around, and everyone is trying to figure out what's going on. How do we stop this? What does Biosyn have? Is what is Biosyn having to do with all of this? So yeah, and I mean overall, I kind of think this was pretty cool, honestly, and that you get the OG crew back along with the new. Bloods, honestly, <laughs> sorry, uh, I, here's, here's the deal, um, uh, one of the, so, like, say, like, from the last film, the introduction, introduction of Maisie, who is a clone of, like, a Dr. Charlotte, I guess, um, she, is suddenly is it real thing say, oh, my mom was actually me. That was a little bit weird, and the fact that, you know, she, Charlotte basically got herself pregnant by, I guess, self-embryo. I guess, basically she cloned herself to make, uh, to make herself pregnant. And, yeah. So we get more details about Maisie and all that. We discovered that Blue has a baby. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And then so we have a couple of subplots, like say the idea of a spread of dinosaur locusts that is basically trying going to evaporate all crops and everything that is going to be made on a farm, as well as Maisie and Blue and Blue's baby Beta being kidnapped and. Owen and Claire going to the rescue. And also, yeah, kind of fun. And then, um, yeah, we have some returning characters from, say, previous films come back as well. Oh, and Henry Wu, he, he is returns as well. I was a bit surprised, and the fact that I thought the film was going to give us his unfortunate end, like in the book. But unfortunately, that was never really given us. But we get the uh, return of the Dilophosaurus from uh, the original Jurassic Park film. And Ian Dobson returns for this film. We get the return of the Barbasol can. So, yeah, we have that. Um, one of the, one of, I guess one of the best death sequences is that Ian Dobson, who... Uh, he basically... 
Wait, was it Ian? I mean, not Ian, not uh, Dobson. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do uh, Dobson, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't remember his first name, I'm sorry. Um, Dobson. Basically, he, uh, one thing that happens is he's basically just trying, he ends up getting working with, uh, Henry Wu. And, because Henry was wanting to try to figure out, okay, you wanted me to make these locust things to make you more money. Okay, so I need, um, trying to make Maisie so that I could, like, rewrite the code for this locust so that the locust will be destroyed and all that. We get new dinosaurs with uh, feathers, so that's pretty cool. And I'll see, um, like, say the... There are some quite a few jump scares, so be very well be aware. Be aware of that. <laughs> one of the um, one of the things that I feel like say that Contravaro he probably thought okay, like say the relationship between um Dr. Alan Grant and Elliot Sattler, basically. They are, they are basically, uh, for, like, in a way, kind of, like, say, flirting the entire movie at certain points. And, yeah, it's like basically just trying to say, okay, we knew, know you guys kind of wanted that relationship back in, after the first film. And that didn't really ever happen after Just Part 3. And, yeah. One of the things that it, this film feels like, it feels like it's a combination of say, probably say Jurassic World, and we could say also the gene splicings of, uh, like say from uh, Jurassic, uh, from Fallen Kingdom, mostly just like some fight sequences from J Fallen Kingdom and all that, and as well as the more dark moments from say, just Mark 3. I think it has a lot of the elements from the other films to com combine them in a way. And yeah, this film also proves that say, no matter how big make you make sure, no matter how you make the dinosaurs bigger and bigger, um, the T-Rex is always on top and honestly. So you have that and that's pretty cool honestly. Yeah, I can't remember like the dinosaur's name, but it's actually pretty cool the fact that this dinosaur has wings and has talonless hands, and it's just like say if there's a fight sequence and it's just with the T Rex and it's going after I guess it was the Gigantosaurus or something like that. It's bigger than the T Rex, but I don't think it would have said to be the largest carnivore. So. Yeah, uh, there's also a moment where Dr. I mean, no, Dawson, he is trying to get away, and he's on his, basically, bullet train underground, and he is, like, like, say, after power goes out, sort of, like, say, in the original Jurassic Park, and Jurassic World, where they're trying to, like, say, get power on and off, so then he can fly out of there, and what do you, what do you know happens, he comes back, the Dilophosaurus. And not just one, we get multiple times with the Lophosaurus. Like, and say, yeah, like they, the Lophosaurus, they really mess um, Dawson up. And in my head, when I was watching this movie, I kept on thinking, my father, like, that's what you get, that's what you get, Dawson, that's what you get. You eventually get for almost destroying humanity. And honestly, I'm sorry, I had a, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I mean, a lot. I know a lot of people are going to say, like, you know, like, this film, like, there's, it has probably has issues with this film, and that, like, it feels like two different things with the two, um, plots, like, you know, ranging from, like, say, the Locust thing, and then, you know, Ma Maisie and a Blue's baby. Uh, plot and trying to get the bios in and all and all that plot yeah it feels like it's some two combined stories into one but 
I'm sorry, I had a lot of fun with this. I really did. I feel like say the like say Conchavaro, he knew, okay, this one we put in the musical key modes. This one we do this, this one that this is when we have the money shot of all of the characters together. Um there was I think there was this moment where I thought, okay, that wasn't in the film. I could totally be wrong. There was a moment where in the trailers where uh, Ian, Ma Ian Malcolm goes, they say, bigger. Why did they always have to go bigger? I don't think that was in the film. I don't think that was in the film, but those in the trailers, there was also the moment where the, the movie theater, unless that was in the after credit sequence, yeah, I mean, I didn't really stay m much for the after credits. I just watched the movie. I mean, because, like, once the credits, like, once the credits, I thought, okay, movie over. Yeah, I mean, this this movie is, is kind of, can be kind of long, and at times you think, okay, when is this going to end? But, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Maybe you will, too. Put your thoughts in comments down below. Maybe they'll make a, uh, never film this. I have no idea. And so, I mean, because this film has already made... A ton of money already honestly but what do you guys think put your thoughts in the comments below let me know and as always thank you for watching and i'll most definitely see you next time